And you heard Evan just now mention that there that the Biden administration mentioned Paul Whelan by name during that White House briefing today, saying, quote, we will also continue to support and advocate for other Americans detained in Russia, including Paul Whelan. And he is serving a 16-year sentence in a Russian prison for espionage held since, de since December of 2018. I do want to bring in Paul's brother, David Whelan, now. David, thank you for coming on again. I do appreciate you being here. Thanks for having me. What was your immediate reaction after hearing the news today about Brittany Griner? And, and was there even a small chance in your mind that her appeal would be granted? No, there was no uh, expectation that there would be any sort of uh, leniency or mitigation. Uh, I feel terrible sorrow for her and for her family, for uh, Sherelle Griner. Um, it's, uh, it's an awful situation to be in, and uh, it's very hard to balance uh, having to have hope, which you need in order to survive in these situations, uh, with the, uh, the constant disappointment. Yeah, a constant disappointment. And it has been two years since your brother Paul was convicted. Uh, what is your message to Brittany Griner's family tonight as they go through this moment right now? Uh, not to lose hope. I think that the U.S. government has done what it can, and uh, they will continue to uh, try to present the concessions that they can make to the Russian government. And hopefully whoever uh, the corrupt participants are on the Russian side will uh, find their own self-interest in whatever deal that they're willing to come up with. It's uh, clearly not the diplomats, uh, so I'm not sure which oligarch or which uh, corrupt member of the Kremlin it is, but uh, hopefully they will uh, come around and come up with something that will free Brittany and, and free Paul. Yeah, what, if any, updates have you received from the Biden administration regarding Paul and the efforts to secure his release? I think we uh, know the same thing that everybody else does. The uh, White House press secretary has said that the uh, Russian government has not made a serious offer. They are asking for things that aren't in the U.S. government's ability to provide, which is it's ridiculous. I mean, it's just uh, more of the theater of what the Russians have been putting Paul through, uh, what they've been putting Brittany through, and uh, hopefully they'll eventually come around. Um, they're in a difficult spot with the war, and uh, hopefully... They'll, they'll need to make some sort of a concession soon. In Evan's piece just now, we heard a little bit about the suspected conditions uh, that Brittany is being held in right now. What can you tell us from, from your experience and what you know uh, about conditions for, for those Americans being held in Russia right now? Well, I've read what's available online and I've heard a little bit from Paul. Obviously, we don't talk very much about what Paul's experiencing because we uh, try not to cast too negative a light uh, so that he's not retaliated against. Uh, but it's it's pretty awful conditions. And uh, since the war started with Ukraine, the sanctions have bit so that there is less food. Um, there is uh, more disturbance among the uh, prisoners. Um, there continues to be corruption, uh, which inhibits Paul's ability to make phone calls and other things. So even just your day to day life is uh, grueling and grinding there. And I, I don't know what the women's prisons are like, but it uh, sounds really awful. David Whelan, um, I know what a protracted process this has been for you and your family. I, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.